My baby is American made, born and bred in the USA. Oh, her silky long hair to her sexy long legs. My baby is American made. Now, how many of y'all people recognize that song? Now, how many of y'all have an idea who sung that song? Well, many of my buds are the Oak Ridge Boys. Ten to one odds are it's not the Statler Brothers. <laughs> You're right, it's the Oak Ridge Boys. And today what I'm going to demonstrate for you is typical styles, generalized stereotypes of what the Oak Ridge Boys do on stage. Now, first of all, I'm going to give you a little background information here. There's four male parts, a tenor one, a tenor two, a bass one, and a bass two. Now, when you have four voices singing together, that's called a quartet, which is what the Oak Ridge Boys are, a male quartet, because there aren't any women in the group. Now, when you have a male quartet, the tenor one is considered the tenor, the tenor two is considered the lead, the bass one is called the baritone, and the bass two is the bass. And Dwayne Allen is the lead singer, William Lee Golden was the baritone, Richard Sturgeon is the bass, and Joe Bonzel is the tenor. Now, the reason why I say William Lee Golden was, he's no longer with the group. There's a new man called Steve Sanders who sings baritone for him now. That started in 87. But at the time that the Oak Ridge Boys sang American Made, William Lee Golden was in the group, and that's why I'm using him. Now, first of all, I'll move to Dwayne Allen. The reason why I have these in this order is because in that song, the verse, there's four lines in the verse, and each one sings a line. And I've got them in sequence of according to who sings which line. Now, the first line is sung by Dwayne Allen in the verse, and this is a picture of Dwayne Allen right here. He's the lead singer. Now, what Dwayne likes to do is he kind of likes to, he kind of has a stance, he kind of likes to brace with his left leg here. He likes to pat on his thigh with his right hand a lot, and he kind of sticks his hand out there, but he never really gets it below his waist or above his shoulder. He just kind of keeps it out here and he points a little bit. And he kind of does the first verse something like this. Seems everything I buy these days has got a foreign name. And then we move into the next line. Well, the next line is sung by William Lee Golden. And as most of y'all have been able to put that together, he was the man with the hair down to here. <laughs> this is a picture of him right here. Now, believe it or not, he, wasn't, he, was, he was a pretty attractive man when he was younger. I have pictures of him when he was like in the 70s and 60s when he sang with the group, when his, he didn't have any hair on his face. Now, he's the most country sound of the group. Every now and then, Dwayne, the lead singer, will sound a little country, but usually it was Bill that sounded the most country in the group. Now, Bill kind of had a lean into there, and I guess what it was was the weight of his hair. Just kind of <laughs> <laughs> but he, he just kind of liked to lean into the mic, and his arms just kind of swayed, I guess because of the lean. <laughs> he just kind of get in there with his country voice, and let's see, what would that next line be? Okay. From the kind of car I drive to my video game. And then we move into Richard Sturgeon. We come in with the third line. Now, he's the one that most of the girls like. Right here, he's the heart of the Oak Ridge Boys. <laughs> All the girls like him. I kind of like to think I'd look like Richard Sturgeon, you know, don't you think? That I, <laughs> I mean, we both got dark hair. What more are we doing? <laughs> but that's Richard Sturgeon. He's the bass. And he kind of comes in. I got a Nikon. Oh, I'm sorry. Forgive me. What he likes to do is he's a typical bass. Most basses, they just kind of stand relatively in the same spot. They don't move around much, you know, like you see rock stars doing. They just kind of like to stand in one general area. And all their movement comes out of their arms, and that's about it. They just move them arms all over the place. Their arms go up and down. And usually when the note's going up, they tend to bring it down. When the note gets real low, they'll pull their hand down like this. And sometimes they'll give it a shake, or sometimes they'll just point. Most of their just, most of their movements just in their arms, and he kind of goes, I got a Nikon camera, a Sony Color TV. <laughs> then we move into the last line, which is sung by Joe Bonzel. Now, Joe Bonzel, here's a picture of him, you'll probably agree with me, looks like Richard Simmons or something. You see <laughs> and he acts like Richard Simmons. If you see him in concert, you'll actually think he is. He just bounces around the stage like he's doing some kind of aerobic exercise. <laughs> but don't let that fool you. He doesn't have a special choreography. That's just the way he is. And he, he really does resemble a spider or something, if you've seen him. Because a lot of times he'll get down like this sometimes. And then he'll jump up and he'll be bouncing around the stage. And he'll go, uh, But the 
one that I love is from the USA and standing next to me. That didn't come out good, but lay. <laughs> I'm not Joe Mondo. Now, when you put the Oak Ridge Boys together, it's not a bad looking group. They look pretty snazzy, wouldn't you say? Look like they fit well together. And then you put them together, and then the second person, they come out something like this. She looks good in her tight blue jeans. She bought in Mexico. And she loves wearing French perfumes <laughs> everywhere we go. Oh, but when it comes to the loving part, one thing is true. My baby's genuine USA. <laughs> So there you go. <laughs> Typical stereotypes of what the Oak Ridge Boys do in their concert. And Dwayne Allen is the lead singer. William Lee Golden was the baritone. Richard Sturgeon is the bass. And Joe Bonzel is the tenor. Now, granted, they do other things. They don't just do that the whole time they're in the concert. But that's the basic kind of folk song <coughs> anthem that I like to do. So the next time you're at an Oak Ridge Boy concert or you're seeing them on TV, you can just remember me in your public speaking class. <laughs>